Guten Morgen and buongiorno. You're watching Carlisle Speaks Wall Street, your best source for easy, concise trading and trading technology explained. And we are talking today about fixed dictionaries or fixed online resources where you can actually look up fixed tags and fixed messages and how they work. You can go to fixprotocol.org and look at the actual fix spec, which is a long document with all the stuff to read. And who has time for that? There's a time and place for that, but you may want to look at a resource where you can actually search for tags and things like that. A quick reference for people people doing support, certification, uh, the business side, you're having conversations with your uh, counterparts, you want to talk about different tags and you know, oh, we need this special tag 1269326. What on earth is my client talking about? Let me go to this website and look it up and see what it is. So that's the kind of thing you can do with these tools. But before we get into that, I just wanted to mention, if you are new to the Fixed Protocol, definitely take a look at my Fixed Protocol video. This was actually used by FixedProtocol.org for the Asia Conference. Quite proud of that. It goes over the basics. 35 equals D, 54 equals 1, 38 equals 100. Some basic uh, you know, primer getting into understanding the Fixed Protocol and what it's all about. Fun, exciting, to the point and definitely take a look at that. Also, the next video I did was a reading a raw fixed message video where I actually go over a real fixed message and we go over the basic tags. Tag 60 in this case, tag 200. What does it mean, 2019-07? You know, so really cool way to get started. But today we are talking about fixed dictionaries or fixed resources that you can use to look up tags. So in this video, we're going to take a look at Fiximit, which is on FixTradingCommunity.org. We're also going to take a look at the Fix Dictionary from B2Bits. And then we're also going to take a look at the Fix Dictionary from the uh, Nixus.biz website. And then we're also going to take a look at uh, the Fix Wiki page. The first one, one of my favorite websites, is Fiximit by the FixTradingCommunity.org website. So on the left-hand side here, you have the ability to select the fixed version. We can choose Fix 4.2, my favorite. And we can choose a message type D, which is a new order single, right? Oh, no, it's not. Well, always remember that the tags are case sensitive. Got to put in capital D. Now we get new order single. So that's the basic idea. So I'm doing message by type. So type of D, uppercase D, gives me new order single. Tells me what it is. New order single message type is used by institutions wishing to electronically submit securities and forex orders to a broker for execution. And you have all the relevant fields that are in that particular message. Indication of whether it's required or not. You have to have the standard header uh, message equals D, 35 equals D. You have to have a client order ID that is required. 109 client ID not required. No check mark there. So pretty cool. And also, if you need to get some more information, let's say exec broker, I understand it's used for firm blah blah blah, but I want some more details about it, just a little bit more information. Um, I would assume you could just click on exec broker, but nothing happened. So there are some little quirks here and there, and you'll find that with, uh, uh, I think, most of the tools of this nature. Uh, um, I guess it's just a lot of stuff to, you know, keep keeping all this stuff up to date and things like that. What are the reasons are? But um, I've been using a fixed protocol for quite a while, so I figured out some workarounds. So in this case, what I just do is I right click on this, open in new tab. I'm using the Chrome browser, by the way. And then you get this, which is a little, little bit more information. So I can see when it was added. I can see the description again. I can see the data type. So it's a string. So if you're coding your application. You know that you have to have a data type of string in this particular field so you don't get an error. Um, so let's get out of here. And just for reference, let's see if they have the data types. Yes, yeah, so data types are listed here. So what is a string? So I click on data types, click on fixed data, uh, data types, and we can look for string. And we can see strings right here, alphanumeric, free format strings. I'm not going to read the rest of that stuff. You get the point. So. Um, that's most of what this tool is all about. We can also take a quick look at um, field by tag number. So 55, what is that? I've never heard of tag 55. What does that mean? All right, so there's another way to, to, to use this tool because if you notice, it's kind of in this little window. Um, I have a r really wide resolution. And look at all this wasted space and all this stuff is kind of squeezed in. But click on this one up here, which gives you the latest. So fix submit for the latest extension pack in a standalone window. 
Why can't I get 4.2 in a standalone window? I don't know why, but I'll show you a workaround. I've been using this. I've been exposed to the fixed protocol since about 2000. So that's over a decade. <laughs> so I've learned some tricks along the way. Now, if you come in here, this is actually 5.0. I don't want 5.0, and there's no way to change it. But I'll show you a little trick that I've learned. So if you simply hack the, uh, the address here, so we want to go back to the root directory of fixamit 3.0. Just delete that. Hit enter. What do you know? Now all of a sudden I have this drop down which allows me to change the version. Ah, you'd have never learned that secret if you didn't come to my channel. So subscribe right now for that trick alone. Anyway, uh, so message type. So now we have a full screen view. I can type in capital D, not lowercase d, and go. And there we have it. New order single and all the tags. Let's just see out of curiosity. Does the exact broker work in this mode? What do you know? It works in the standalone window. So now we got that working. So now we can click on the tags and we can see underneath. See that? Really cool, really cool. And then let's see if we can actually get the field by uh, tag number to work. 55. I'll just hit enter. Um, it puts it on the bottom here, if you notice that. So now I can go in and I can say uh, 65. What's 65? Hit, click on that. There you go. Now another way to do this is I can look at, let's see, we have uh, fields. Click on fields, have a drop down, sort by tag number. So now we got all the fields, everything you want, fields of joy. So let's click on control F and I can search for 55 uh, right on the page itself. Well, that's not actually what I wanted. Uh, there we go. Symbol is right there. So that's another way to go about doing it. So any, any particular tag. As a support person, you could keep this page open if you wanted to and just do quick searches in here. You could also, again, do it here. But when you do it that way, it just shows up on the bottom like this. So which, I mean, eh, eh, you know, it's kind of the same thing. But, you know, there's your tag uh, sorted by tag number. There is your sorted by field name. So account. You have sorted by data type. So this is the first data type is AMT, then uh, Boolean, and uh, all that stuff. So custom fields. So you have these custom tags like 5,000 order status, request type, and all this kind of really fun and exciting stuff is available to you. Now, we spent most of this video talking about fixing it. We're not going to continue doing that anymore. It's my highly recommended tool. It's my favorite tool. So you go click on the link in the description and check it out for yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to move right along to B2Bits. Well, that completes part one of my two-part series about the most popular fixed dictionaries. So definitely subscribe to get notified when I upload part two, which should be ready next week or the week after that so go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching if this was helpful thumbs up the video and share with your colleagues thank you for watching carlisle speaks wall street and have a great day and a wonderful week with options your entire strategy is based on what you think. i'm going to give you the fixed protocol options greeks